wouldn't he just to push back a little bit wouldn't if i was speaking for to defend him wouldn't he say that he accommodates that he says that he has these different um zones if you like in the euro it, it just i mean it is restricted to europe but it, these different zones and the the north atlantic the, those countries on the North Atlantic, they tended to be, like you've just said, very settled. They they were already bounded. There was not a lot that needed to be done. Industrialization, education came along and, if you like, hardened it. But it was already there, whereas there was a little bit more to be done when you move further to the east with, with the French and the Germans. And then a lot to be done. In fact, uh, you know, this is how he explains ethnic cleansing and, and the Soviets. Once you central and, and the far east We're getting a so in, of... in a sense there's a it would actually accommodate that wouldn't it well i'd have to reread the book but i didn't pick that up i mean i i don't think he ever said that medieval english were it was a nation or that the medieval japanese or the medi the portuguese were a nation state i think he, you're right in thinking that much more needed to be done. I mean, I'm surprised that none of these books, uh, none of these art, um, papers pick up what I think is one of the best accounts of all this, which is Eugene Weber's Peasants into Frenchmen, which very in a detailed way chronicles how the French were peasants. In other words, it was a set of regional things and no one was French. Um, Mm. until about the 1870s and then it was mass education and indoctrination and um in, to a certain extent industrialization which encouraged this and that book chronicles it for france and we know the same thing happened in italy with with right. uh in the 19th century and spain so um but i didn't pick up that he ever said the, that you know my theory allows for the fact, because if he did say that, what's the point of this um, causal link between industrialization and, I mean, if he'd said, I think that industrialization and education was needed in Central Europe and continental Europe to make nation states, but elsewhere they'd had states and nation states before, I think I would have noticed that, because then I, I would have no quibble. I think, it, I think, Again, if I can be bold enough to answer as Ernest, he might have said something like they weren't necessarily fully formed nation, na nationality, nation states, but they would already have that. They would identify themselves. But in order to become the, the modern na nation state, they needed something else. They needed the mass education. They needed those other things, industrialization. But in terms of identity, I think he would say the English, like you just said, I think he would be. Could you, okay can you have a look at the book and send me where he's yeah I'll, I'll do that 